today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little travel stoves. This is the Esbit alcohol stove. I keep one of these in my car, in my car kit. I keep one in my bug out bag. I've taken this to the lake and um, a couple different places and I just love it so much. I thought I'd share it with you today. I love how compact this is. Everything is inside. So it has a little top piece that you could use separately or use it as a lid. The little stove is on the inside. This is the platform that the stove sits in. And this is the little alcohol stove itself. So I already have some alcohol in there, but I'm going to add some more. This lid, it's got a little rubber gasket in there to keep everything from coming out. And then this is designed to snuff it out when we're finished. We could also adjust the top to adjust the flame that's coming out as well. I'm going to add some Everclear um, which is grain alcohol I get from the liquor store. I like to burn um, liquor store uh, alcohol because it burns nice and clean. And there's a lot of other ways that you can use it. Um, you could use it medicinally, you could use it on wounds and things like that too. If you wanted to, you could use um, denatured alcohol. I've got this rubbing alcohol, which is 91%. I don't wanna use the 70% because it's just a little too watered down. The alcohol stove goes right on the inside here. Our pot is gonna go right on top, right there. And let's get that baby lit. There we go. Okay, so I gotta put some water inside. I'm gonna go ahead and use the water that I used in a previous video, and I used uh, aluminum sulfate to get all of those little particles to drop down. Now, I do have a couple little floaties at the very top there, and you might not be able to see that, but I've got some little floaties going on in there at the top that didn't drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain those in. Let's pour this nice and slow so that we don't disturb all of the dirt at the bottom. Okay, there we go. So that captured a few of those little particles in my strainer. That worked well. And this is what we have left. All that mud sank down to the bottom. The lid goes on the top. I decided to go ahead and boil this water. I could have purified it through one of my filters, but another way that we can use that, if you don't have a filter, is we can boil it to purify it. But we have to boil it for a solid minute. So when that water starts boiling, we have to let it boil for a solid minute to kill anything that's gonna be harmful in there. Okay, that is boiling. Let's take a look and see. That's a rolling boil right there, exactly what we wanted to see. So now we're gonna let that go for a solid minute more, and then we're gonna make tea out of it. All right, that has been one minute. I don't wanna boil it much longer because I'm losing a lot of my steam. So let's go ahead and put out that fire. So there you have it, my little alcohol stove that I love. I've used it over and over. By the way, play with your toys, because I've gotten some things before that didn't work out so great, I didn't like them so much. This one I love, it's amazing. So cheers to some nice, clean, potable water, to long life and a healthy life. That is still hot. <laughs> I'll see you next time.